Hello, party people, and welcome to Office Hours. This is a little unusual, right? This is video recorded on my Apple Vision Pro, the little headset. I say little, it's a big headset uh, that uh, is good for virtual reality. Now, clearly, this is a very augmented creepy Brent Ozar, although to some extent some people always probably think that I'm creepy, but okay, it is what it is. All right, let's get to some of your top voted questions. This should be absolutely hilarious. I can't wait to see the comments on TikTok. Yes, you can actually see hands kind of creeping in and out of here too, which is kind of funny. Uh, let's see, first up we have Rushab who asks, I have a question regarding shrink file. Is it advisable to run shrink file to get to a target 10% free space? So if you search for Brent Ozar database shrink, not as in psychologist, but just as a general term in terms of the DVCC command, you're going to get all kinds of advice from me out there already. Go hit that first. Now, spoiler alert, I don't usually recommend shrinking databases, and you'll see why when you read those posts. So go ahead and do that. But then to follow up, the next question is going to be, well, I want to do it anyway. Well, why? What's the problem that you're trying to solve? Think of it that way, and then that's going to dictate how you run DBCC shrink DB, where you run it, when you run it, and how often you run it. Most likely, you're not going to run it. Next up, SQL Padawan asks, Hey Brent, I'm asking for a friend. If you were a freelance database administrator or employee again, which, how would you future-proof your career with lots of layoffs and AI? My answer today is the same thing that it would have been years ago. Go search for Brent Ozar 500 Level Guide to Career Planning. What you probably want to do is become known as the person. I'm trying to do air quotes. Okay, there we go. I guess I got to have my hands a little further out. The person for one particular topic. Pick what that topic is, and then you'll find that your career is much more protected. Just as a fun couple of funny things here. If I hold real still, it gets even creepier. Looks like I'm on the verge of tears there, like my lips are trembling. And then also, also kind of funny, I'm not wearing a black hoodie right now, but that's just the hair, the haircut that I had and the, uh, and the uh, thing that I was wearing when Apple Persona captured my video, which is kind of hilarious. Next up, Walt asks, is cranky a justified stereotype for the average database administrator? One of the things you have to keep in mind is that database administrators are often tasked with telling people no. No, you can't do that in production. No, that won't scale. No, you can't have those security permissions and things like that. So because of that, they get a kind of a cranky reputation. It, I think it's different in teams where the DBA is seen as an empowering person, someone who uh, helps people do a better job at things like performance tuning DBA. But like production DBAs, usually the answer is, yeah, they're, they're seen as kind of cranky because they're constantly telling people no. Uh, next up, we have Marcus the German who asks, what is your recommendation regarding unlimited auto growth? I'm thinking about limiting auto growth. Why? Why? Do you want to be called in the event of an outage? Do you want the database to stop growing? Or do you want to just monitor growth, see how big the thing is getting, and then take reaction during weekdays 9 to 5 when you can kind of slowly talk to people about, hey, why is this thing growing at the size that it's growing? Otherwise, if you shut off, if you shut off growth, all that's going to happen is, is when you have those explosive growth, event, growth events, the database is going to essentially go down because inserts, updates, and deletes will stop when you run out of space for that stuff. I don't like getting called. I was you kind of, I could go on and on about how much I don't like phone calls. I don't want to be on call. I don't want to get hit with those surprise outages. So I'm all for features that let me avoid that. Unlimited auto growth for me is one of those features. Instead, just monitor growth and look out for problems before uh, you run out of drive space. 
Uh, let's see here, we'll do one more. Rollback is single-threaded asks, Hi Brent, I reduced the number of logical reads for a query. Uh, this, the new query is only 200 milliseconds faster. Is it worth it? You know, you'll hear me say all the time, all the time, I've said it on this stream already, I've, I'll say it I'm sure many times in the future, what's the problem that you're trying to solve? I have a friend of mine who spends his entire life tuning 10 queries. He works for a hedge fund. It's not exactly 10, but it's pretty much basically 10. It's like nine the last time I talked to him. Spends his entire life tuning those queries because the faster those queries go, the more money that hedge fund makes. For him, 200 milliseconds would be a really big deal if you're talking about a data warehouse where the queries only run once in an hour or so, then it probably isn't a big deal. So turn to the users and ask them, what's the biggest problem you need me to solve today? Or also turn to your manager and go, what's the biggest problem you need me to solve today? It might be taking 200 milliseconds off one query, otherwise it probably isn't. All right, so there's a handful of questions. We'll, uh, I'll stop this one at short at a relatively low number of questions just because I want to go see how this recording actually turned out. This is the first time I've ever done with this. I didn't even do a dry run before I went and did it. And I can't wait to see how hilarious, uh, hilariously negative the comments are, probably most likely. Welcome to your AI future. All right, thanks for hanging out, and I will see y'all. Can I wave? Yeah, I can wave. See y'all at the next Office Hours. Adios.